In a few hours, the Norfolk City Council will set to vote on adding bike lanes to Granby Street, stretching from Willowwood Drive to Admiral Tossig Boulevard. News reporter Penny Commit joins us live from that stretch of the city to tell us how this could impact bikers and drivers. Penny. Well, Todd, I think most of us have driven down this part of Granby Street before. We're right past Riverview Village, headed towards Ward's Corner. And as you can see, it's actually the only area of Granby Street that is three lanes wide. But tonight, that all could change. That's if the city votes to move forward with adding bike lanes. And that's going to change this stretch that's three lanes wide down to just two. So let me take you back to the beginning on how this all started. Back in 2015, the city unanimously voted to approve the bicycle and pedestrian strategic plan. But as it stands today, only a small fraction of it is complete. And we're getting down to the wire. The city has until just March to accept an over $800,000 smart scale grant from VDOT which would pay for just about half of this section of the project. Mike Merritt, a member of Bike Norfolk, says these bike lanes will improve equity between Norfolk residents and give kids another options to get to area schools like Granby High. Many parents feel it's unsafe for their kids to ride their bikes to schools, um, which is true because the roads are, are, you know, at very high rates of speed and they're all designed for cars. If things are designed for bicyclists to be able to use, more school children will be able to bicycle to work. Our son, himself, ourself, Miguel, he bicycles to school when he can, um, but, you know, he's admitted, you know, cars come by very fast. He got nicked by a car once. And in that effort of safety, this project includes a substantial barrier between the bike and the vehicle lane. So that meeting going to be tonight at four this afternoon. And the thing that about this meeting is that if they decide not to go forward with this project, that money from VDOT that's near to a million dollars is gone. If the city of Norfolk decides that, hey, a year from now we want to add more bike lanes, they're going to have to find out a way to raise or fund that money on their own. We're live in Norfolk, Penny Commit for News 3.